does it again. India wins gold. इंडिया की ये भूख बड़ी है हर साल थोड़ी और बड़ी है कभी एक से ही भर जाता था मन अब इन आंखों को सपने बड़े देखने की आदत पड़ी है अब हमें सिर्फ एक टुकड़ा नहीं पूरा आसमान चाहिए ये नया इंडिया है इसे तो बस गोल चाहिए तो ब्रिटानिया दे रहा है हर इंडियन को मौका पेरिस जाने का ब्रिटानिया खाओ पेरिस जाओ स्कैन द पैक प्ले हंगरी फॉर गोल्ड टॉप द लीडर बोर्ड एंड विन टिकट्स टू पेरिस ब्रिटानिया खाओ पेरिस जाओ हाय गुड आफ्टरनून एंड आई एंड आई टोटली अंडरस्टैंड दैट द वीडियो दैट यू जस्ट सॉ डिड नॉट एज वेरी वेल we really wished at britannia that we would have won the gold that we were craving for uh, but uh, we were there we were there to watch neeraj throw it it was an extremely proud moment uh, to see him win a silver for the second time a, a, on a podium finish for the second time uh, and and uh, despite the the finish that he had it was just amazing to the to to see the spirit uh of of india that's that's changing and that's that's changing very fast and i would twist the word nostalgia itself because it's it's not about what was old what was dated and and producing it in a fresh package uh but it's really about visiting and revisiting the memories and associations that we've made uh not just with our lives with our society with our culture but also with our brands and interpreting it reinterpreting it uh for current times so it's really not about nostalgia but it's really not about twist but it's just seeing the same reality uh but but through through a very very fresh uh, pair of lens uh this is who we are as as a company uh and and the reason that we're talking about it is when when one needs to drive change the scale at which you're trying to uh, trying to drive change is also directly proportional to the complexity that you're trying to trying to manage we are we're a company that has revenues in excess of 16000 crores we go to 28 lakh outlets directly and more than 60 lakh outlets uh, indirect uh, directly and indirectly uh, we have a range of products that spans biscuits cakes rusk uh we have presence in dairy which is cheese uh, we've got milk drinks uh, we've made an entry into croissant so it's also a portfolio that's been ever expanding and evolving and we stay deeply committed to the cause of uh, malnutrition in the country uh, britannia nutrition foundation has been working for close to more than a decade and a half uh, for this cause and what i really wanted to uh, share today is is some of the principles that we've tried to apply and and hopefully uh, some of them resonate with you as well uh, to incorporate in 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 the brands that you are trying to impact and and the businesses that you are trying to trying to drive so so the question really is how do you modernize legacy because uh, of late legacy you know you 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 use the term legacy which is often used in the context of britannia and you think of it in in you know not not such a positive way because because the belief is that uh it's the world of disruption everything that's new and shiny is going to challenge what's been around for 100 plus years but it's an asset it's it's an amazing asset it's an amazing heritage to uh to nurture for the next for the next generation of marketers and we've found five things that have been tremendously helpful for us uh as we've gone through this journey the first one is about learning from the past so as much of a twist as you're trying to put in the tail it's important to not forget the tail itself these brands that that are a part of britannia have been built on a on an extremely strong foundation 
It's one of the most trusted food brands in the country. It's the, one of the most valued food brands uh, when I talk about just financial valuation. The second thing is that the world's changing. We talk about social media, we talk about AI, the disruption that it's causing. But, but at the heart of it, what is it really that it's about? It's about the fact that consumers want to have a conversation and do not just want to see uh, communication from brands passively. That was true when you were watching Doordarshan, a bunch of channels, content was beaming, you, you didn't have a choice. And you saw, a lot of us saw as kids advertising as entertainment. Today, advertising can be seen as obstruction, not entertainment. So when that happens, what do brands need to do? And what we've tried to do is we've done our traditional advertising, but we've layered it with a layer of experiences. The third question really for, for, for people to ask uh, who are working on marketing teams and brands is, it, it's a choice. Do you want to be a mirror? Do you want to be a magnet? Do you want to be culture following or do you want to be culture leading? And, and that's another pair of, pair of glasses we try to see our brands through. Fourth, finally, uh, there's been a lot of debate on what technology does, what digital uh, transformation can do. Uh, you know, it's, it's like always like this intense debate. Uh, but at Britannia, we don't see it as a debate. We see it as an integration. It's, it's, it's got to be this and that. It's not this or that. It's not TV or digital. It's not social media or activation. It's, got, it's, it's both together. And if it's an omni-media environment, how do, how, how do brands optimize for that? And finally, the power of collaboration, because not one brand team, not one brand manager, not one agency, uh, not one celebrity can do it all. One has got to be able to build an ecosystem for the company and for the brands that's got to bring different partners together if you really want to drive meaningful and exciting experiences. And hopefully through the course of, course of this presentation, I'll try to exemplify each of these principles and how we've applied, uh, applied uh, uh, them to the... And, and the first example that we started with is, is, is the classic case. What was our learning from the past? Our learning from the past was every time the Cricket World Cup was around the corner, we start getting emails, we start getting pings on social media. Why don't you bring back Britannia Khao World Cup Jao? That's the memory that generation, a generation of consumers have. And we said, yes, let's do that. But the context is also changing. There are newer sporting disciplines that are coming around. And can Britannia make that change? Can, can we lead that change? It's not about advertising. So you could scan these packs, a host of Britannia packs, crores of packs. You could play a game. You could experience a game. And many Indians experienced a game way more than those who participated in Britannia Khao World Cup Jao experienced a sport other than cricket, even though it was on, on like a small screen, on a small mobile screen. People played javelin in a digital experience. People did fencing in a digital experience. They picked up a, ra a, a racket sport in a, in a digital experience. It was culture leading because we were not talking about cricket, though cricket is also a much loved sport for us, as you'll see in the first story itself. And finally, all of that was supercharged with the use of new technology. And if one thinks about the collaboration that went into that campaign, it was, it was a whole lot of partners coming together. So they, we, we had a creative partner in Talented who, who, who drove the narrative. We had JSW Sports who was hosting the, uh, hosting the whole experience uh, as far as the sporting tie-ups were concerned. We had uh, a team that was helping with who are going to get consumers uh, to be selected and, and, and winning. We also had technology. We had a technology partner who was building these games on mobile that could download in really, really data, uh, data poor environments and load them quickly and, and create a seamless experience because Britannia is not about working, uh, its footprint is not about working in 5G environments in, in the heart of Bangalore. It's about working even on dumb phones and near smartphones in extreme rural India. Uh, so it was, again, a whole host of people who came together to make Hungry for Gold uh, possible. Let, let me talk about the first case, uh, which is about learning from the past. And, and uh, 
5050 is, is that brand. Uh, how many of you are familiar with 5050? Just a show of hands. Okay. A little more than 50%, which is not bad. And for us, it was about going back to the roots of, of the brand itself. The brand was built, so you will have a little bit of a blast from the past on, on each of these stories. It's going to be close. Oh, no! Mmm, 50-50. Carb Britannia 50-50. Very, very tasty, tasty. Remember this? Anyone remember this? You're also revealing your age, but that's okay. Okay, so, and then we moved away from that for a few years. We went back to, you know, a more traditional but a successful format. We went back to the homemaker and, 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 and there was a narrative which was different. So when we wanted to freshen up the brand, we actually went back to our past and we said, can we, can we go back to our roots itself? And I hope the short leg field from Pat Pat pushes it away on the onside. Surely good. Yeh hai Videshi Jashan. Solid boss. Paisa vasool. Yeh hai Desi Jashan. Taste me 50% Desi Makhan, 50% Videshi Herbs. Britannia 50-50 Muska Chaska. 100% tasty. So, not only did we go back to our roots, it was still mainstream, it, was, it still had mass appeal. Ravi was an absolute perfect fit for the brand, as you can see in the last frame. No one could have done ting 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 better than him. And that's got us tremendous success over the last uh, couple of years. And we've built on that story. We've, we've tried to build on that narrative. This is, this is the latest one. Sweet Ravi, chip boys play well. Hello, little dove. Salty Ravi, jab boys don't play well. Aana, hey, gutar ko khana. Are aana, kya kar raha hai? Taste me 50% sweet, 50% salty. Britannia 50-50 classic. 100% tasty. Ding, ding, da ding. And how do you then build an experience on, on top of it? Uh, so we worked with Mindshare and the team at Extender to build uh, this unique experience. As fit as a cricket ball in a bowler's hand, my friend. Ready to play a game of Golmal with me today? Something like you've been bowled a googly, aren't you? Just like a slow ball on a flat pitch. It's one of the most advanced pieces of technology, while right now I don't have enough time to show you all. But this is a case of you're asking a question to an animated avatar of Ravi. Uh, the AI that's trained for it understands the question in a cricketing context, creates a quirky response and plays that back in real time through the avatar, which it's, it's the first time where all of these technologies have come together to happen, make them happen in real time. A lot of uh, generative AI experiences that you would have seen in the past are all with a certain amount of latency and delay. All of this is happening real time in, in absolute uh, synchronous mode, in a, in a chat mode. And this is, this is the latest. Uh, uh, you know, Shri can keep me honest. Maybe we're announcing this campaign through through the presentation here. This is the this is the latest, and again shows how it's now about experiences and co-creating with consumers uh, rather than just being. Welcome to the Britannia 50/50 lab, where we are thinking biscuits ka future. Think of a new biscuit chain. Ye bhi same sir. India square round rectangle mein atak gya hai. Doctor, to thakka laga na padega. Okay, sir. Are usko nahi, India ko. 
इंडिया आई नीड यू बिस्किट लवर्स जो शेप करेंगे बिस्किट का फ्यूचर विद ब्रिटानिया फिफ्टी फिफ्टी चीफ सिलेक्टर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी का पैक खरीदो और स्कैन करो अपनी मर्जी का शेप बनाओ एंड योर शेप कुड बी द नेक्स्ट ब्रिटानिया फिफ्टी फिफ्टी विन यू टेन लैक्स एंड टेक यू टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया so the strand really is you know changing the narrative learning from the past building an experience on top of it and then really doubling down along with along with traditional advertising format talking of advertising in the shift to experiences and one of the brands that we've tried to uh, really exemplify that in is is through milk bikis really a much loved brand but how do you reinterpret the brand how do you contemporize the brand and Uh, we're not the only ones who've done it there are a lot of brands who've done that quite successfully this is just a story from britannia now it's Mil- milk bikis has really always been about uh, been a partner to the mother uh, a partner for both growth and fun it's fun for the child it also assures the mother uh, that that the that the child is you know having fun and having something uh, to to make sure that she's got the energy that she needs to to go about uh, her, her daily routine as a as a yeah, child. Bar ke la rendu per irukanga. Jani ke ma and Janu. Jani ke ma solluvanga. Seriya vara? Janu solluvanga. Innum kirkalama? Jani ke ma van policy padichuko kadichuko. Janu oda policy kadichuko kudichuko eppadi vena mudichuko. Jani ke ma Janu. Rendu perime उंडन and this has been a tremendously successful platform for us but we we felt that it was time for change uh, because as parents have to start now sharing responsibilities we we felt that there was a need for a new and a different narrative sorry la ivlo aluga irkingle amma katti vittaangla illa appa katti vittaanga appa va aunty shreya vada appa sari la katti vida maatara appa na summa fun pandradhukku mattum illa indha mari vishayam therinjikano ஏனா இவங்க growthக்கு வேணும் both வளர்ப்பிலும் பார்ட்னர் விளையாட்டிலும் பார்ட்னர் பிரிட்டானியா மில்க் பிக்கிஸ் போல growthக்கு வேணும் both so it's it's the same essence but reinterpreted as growth needs both uh, and the ethos stay the same but it's it's progressive it's forward looking uh, and the other thing that it's done is it's given a fresh platform for conversation as far as the brand is concerned so we said okay so if fathers need to get more involved with parenting can we give them some tools can we not just tell them uh, what to do but also give them a few aids on how to do it and again uh, we we you know we could have put examples here perhaps with english subtitles uh, but i i hope you will follow that uh, this as well so this is an activation that's again just got into the market where uh where what we're doing is consumers can scan a pack and once they've scanned the pack they the fathers can point at any object inside the room inside the house and the specially trained ai converts that image of the object into a story in tamil in real time making that object into a fun character giving fathers a tool to engage with kids this one has subtitles though so you should be able to no follow no story na no hmm. homework hmm kadaya hmm ipa paara oru oorla nu start pannuvaru ava kadu pidikala nu odiduva daily idhe vela da hmm inge pesiningla sir kada na or twist or punch neenga edhuk seri patta varamaatinga after all or pencil ni yeah na or magic wand irukkalame na ufo வெறும் 
the other principle we spoke about was is is do you want to as a brand as a business do you want to be lagging culture or do you want to be leading culture and mari golds a great example of the same and not too long back not too long back we're talking about the pandemic uh more than anyone at home the the homemaker really took took the brunt of the workload that that came the family's way and this was just a few years back our way of celebrating aajkal ghar mein bada maza aata hai आखिर घर का सदस्य घर में जो नजर आता है लिविंग रूम कॉन्फ्रेंस रूम बन जाता है फिटनेस वीडियोस बनाए जाते हैं डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब कहा जाता है डाइनिंग टेबल ऑफिस डेस्क बन जाता है हर मीटिंग के लिए लुक बदला जाता है खाने का तो कोई टाइम टेबल फॉलो नहीं किया जाता वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम का मतलब शायद मोर वर्क फॉर होम मेकर हो गया और ये ज्यादा काम वो क्या बखूबी निभा रही हैं? अब उनका हाथ बटा के आप भी उन्हें कीजिए सलाम ब्रिटानिया मारी गोल्ड सलाम करता है सभी होम मेकर को बट इवन बिफोर दिस वॉट वी स्टार्टेड टू सी वॉज अ चेंज इन सोसाइटी वेर वुमेन वॉन्टेड टू do more and be more and that's really uh, the brand mari gold's credo for many years now uh, and we've been that uh, brand platform we've been that enabler for women to achieve their entrepreneurship dreams which are the boundaries of of home job to main bhi karti thi yeah until <laughs> job chhoda workload aur bhi badh gaya फिर एक दिन मैंने सोचा बच्चे संभालना मां का काम बन सकता है तो फिर बिजनेस क्यों नहीं बन सकता ब्रिटानिया मारी गोल्ड ने दी आरती की हिम्मत को ताकत दूसरी पारी शुरू करते वक्त क्योंकि बहुत कुछ है करना एंड नॉट ओनली हैव वी जस्ट स्पोकन अबाउट इट वी हैव डन समथिंग अबाउट इट सो दिस प्लेटफॉर्म इट्स इट्स इन इट्स इन इन इट्स योर फाइव वी हैव स्टेड ट्रू टू इट इट्स नॉट जस्ट एन एड इट्स आल्सो एन एक्ट एवरी ईयर वी रन समथिंग कॉल्ड the britannia marigold my startup uh, uh, contest this year it's being called the her startup contest and this year we are doing it in partnership with uh, the national skill development corporation who's come together to uh, drive shared common objectives around entrepreneurship and over the years we've seen tremendous participation and so far we've funded 40 businesses that homemakers have presented as ideas and this is something that gets tremendous reception tanya mari goals my startup contest we give wings to the dreams of many women we observed that while many homemakers wanted to start their own businesses funding alone wasn't the solution to unlock their journey of success consistent guidance mentorship and inspiration were also key That's how the idea of her store was born. A unique online marketplace aiding women in their quest for a successful entrepreneurial journey. It's a storefront exclusively for women-led brands, empowering them to build their business up to its fullest potential. Be it any industry, every product or service can be listed here with multiple benefits. no registration fee a zero person commission model and back end technical support in addition the platform gives access to training material that helps hone your business skills it also inspires through stories of other like minded women and opportunities to connect with these successful entrepreneurs all you need to do is simply register your business and start your journey So what are you waiting for? Take the first step to success. Join together, grow together. So if you do get a chance, do visit uh, her store. That's our latest initiative where we've moved forward from the contest to provide an always-on platform to enable uh, enable entrepreneurs. I'm going to skip this. I think we've uh, spoken about uh, how this contest gets a lot of excitement uh, every year. Uh, coming to bourbon uh, one of uh, one of the most loved brands in in the biscuit space and this is again an example of how we've taken a brand that's by the way in its 70th year 
and given it a complete fresh lease of life. And for that, the first thing we did was we actually went back to the roots of the brand because we saw there was a lot of distraction in the environment. And this is another case from learning from the past and, and realizing what made the brand famous uh, in the first Britannia place. Britannia bourbon biscuit. Is this chocolate? Why is this chocolate? Why is this chocolate? Die, die, die! Chocolate under chocolate under chocolate, right? Hey, chocolate under chocolate under chocolate. Chocolate under chocolate. जैसे भी देखो चॉकलेट 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 ब्रिटानिया बर्बन बिस्किट सो वी डिड दैट एंड यू नो दैट वी चेंज द पैकेजिंग वी चेंज द एडवर्टाइजिंग वी वेंट बैक टू द रूट्स एंड देन व्हाट वी सेड वाज कैन वी कोऑप्ट कंज्यूमर्स इनटू द सेम एंड पुश बर्बन रियली इनटू कल्चर सो रियली हैप्पी टू अगेन शेयर दिस इज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट कोलैबोरेशंस दैट्स हैपेंड इन द कंट्री Uh, with uh, with Google's uh, Gemini platform, and it's a very very nice and a simple activation where you can scan pretty much any dessert that you, that's in front of you. Just put a camera on that uh, dessert, and and what the specialized uh, specially trained AI does, it not only just puts out an idea on how you could bourbonize that recipe, but also gives you steps on the same. So let's see how how that works. you could put a youtube link as well of of something that you are wanting to convert or if you don't like it you could get one more option at at the same recipe so we're actually encouraging consumers right now to share their creative uh, formations their creations with us and this is how you could convert an a traditional indian mithai uh, and and an idea to fuse it with chocolate and this is again coming from the inside that a lot of consumers and you would see it uh, on your feed as well people try to be creative uh, use an amalgamation of products on traditional things they're trying to fuse stuff in the kitchen and 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 putting it out there and this is the final one which is and and this is something that has been really special for us in the journey which is how different partners have really come together not just creative agencies but collaborators technology service providers because all of these ideas have only been possible because of different forces and different skills and competencies uh, coming together good day has always been this brand which has been the carrier of joy and optimism and happiness uh, and a couple of years back we built on top of that platform for good day to become this agent that can with with whom you can celebrate small joys of life like getting the cab that was difficult to get or getting uh, getting salary credit to credit to, uh, to your account a day before or uh, the dad which you see on the right hand side who's able to touch uh, touch his feet and and able to stretch and and the mom and the daughter are are celebrating that and and this has been a really really successful platform where we've been able to put out multiple copies which are deeply regionalized deeply embedded in culture but we said how do we take this platform of small joys a little bit forward but also make it relevant for the new generation who's discovering the brand as as they're growing up and that's where uh, bank of small wins came which was and and this is again a great case for us a great learning for us on how we collaborated not just with the partners inside but also with partners outside i got a call that said hey how do you think we could get cookies to sell more pants whether you're 10 years old or 60 years young you all love finding forgotten money in your pockets don't you but ever since we've gone cashless that joy has gone missing 
That's until Britannia Good Day, India's biggest cookie brand that's all about celebrating the small wins in life. Put their money where their mouth is. Good Day's Gorilla Activation, the bank of small wins, and a completely new medium, Bank Pockets, as the campaign literally puts money in your pockets. They've stopped 10 lakhs worth of this new currency into one lakh pockets across Mintra's collection. For 48 hours, over 5 geographies, 400 people working on this to crumple these notes, put them in pants and have them shipped out to consumers in no time. That's not it. They collaborated with one of India's biggest laundry chains, Uclean and Bombay Closet Cleanse, a chain of thrift stores in Mumbai. I have a good day's bank of small wins currency in our pockets in store. Man, this Britannia really wants to get into our pants, huh? Wait, is that a note in my pocket? You are one of... 100,000 people finding this not in their pocket. Bro, I like it when brands do like cool stuff like this. Like, like TK, you're selling me something, but also you're at least trying to... It's an to... experience. And because India loves scribbling on their currency, we scribbled on ours too. Again, it has Neera Chopra's signature, by the way. There's one single note with a 50,000 rupee cash back. Obviously, this note I'll give someone else who will be more than I need. A random collection of lakhs of people who reached into their pockets thinking they're having just another day and ended up having a good day instead. A huge, uh, a huge shout out to friends at Mintra, Uclean, and, and Bombay Closet Cleanse. Because I feel that, you know, the, the amount of energy and effort that these three partners put was almost equal to the amount of uh, effort that the team at Britannia and the team at Talented put into it. So, so that's all from me. Uh, just to summarize, and, and we went through these stories, uh, learning from the past, immensely important to respect the heritage that, you've, uh, that you are inheriting because we're all going to be on our brands and our, uh, on our company's uh, uh, portfolios for short periods of time. The question is really what is the value we're adding and are we setting it up for success for the next generation? The second is how it's not about advertising anymore. It's about experiences. Uh, do you want to be a culture leading brand or do you want to be the one following culture? Do you want to be a mirror brand or a magnet brand? Are you really embracing new technology? Uh, because either you have or you will in the future. The question is, how soon can you, can you get started? Uh, and finally, the power of collaboration. None of this is possible without the absolutely, the, the absolutely stellar brand team at Britannia who has made sure that they've moved so much of, uh, so much of work in, in a short period of time. It's, it's one to think about what, what's the change you want to drive, but if you don't have your teams leading it, it's, it's, uh, it's very difficult, and, and I've been extremely fortunate at, uh, at that. But it's also about collaborating with uh, not just your creative partners inside and getting them to collaborate, but also looking at what's happening outside and, and how are your brands connecting and relating with that. Uh, thanks for being a really, really patient audience. Uh, just ahead of lunch, really appreciate it. Yeah. <sighs>